Welcome to Edinburgh TV. Where this week's walk and talk is with Big Uzi. Uzi, thanks for taking the time out to do this. Thank you for having me. It's always good to to get someone with your your experience on the on the walk and talk. But tell me, how's the season been for you so far? Um, obviously, there's been a lot of ups and downs this season. Um, we started the season really well. We've um, had a bit of a dip in form recently, but you know there's still a lot to play for, and we're aiming to finish the season strong. So, you know, you started. Did you you started off at Edinburgh City when? It, well, obviously it was Edinburgh City at the time. Yeah. But your, from your youth days, did you start with Edinburgh and come up through the youth system under twenties straight up? Um, no, not under twenties. I was about 14, 13, 14, I played here for a few years. Um, the Sight Hill days. That's when that's where we used to play at Sight Hill. And then I left. I went to Mullerwell for a bit. Um, Cowden Beef for a season. And then, yeah, I've been I've been at a couple of clubs since then, and then came back to Edinburgh City when we were in the Lowland League, and then got promoted the first season then into League Two through the playoffs. You took a bit of a break then, didn't you? You took a little bit of a spell out. You know, yeah. a couple of clubs like Four for. Yeah, I went to Four for after our first season in League Two. Yeah. Um, I just wanted a new, I just wanted to challenge myself. I wanted to play in the higher leagues. I was young at the time; I was about 20, 21. Um, it never worked out at Forfa. Um, it's a t it's a tough place to go. To be fair, like Forfa is a tough team to even break into at times, isn't it? I mean, I think it was a James Hilton that went there after Edinburgh City. At the time he went back to Forfa, was that Stranra? Am I getting that mixed up? Stranra. Right. But Forfa is always a team that's caused us trouble when we were in League Two. But it's was it a difficult setup. You just weren't settled at Forfa. Um, well, at the time it was Gary Bowen who signed me. Mm. Um, we had just got, they had just got promoted to League One right. and then after about a month in League One, Gary Bowen lost his job, mm. um, a new gaffer came in and I don't know, the team was just struggling really and it was, it was hard to, to get going. Um, obviously there was, a lot of, there was a lot going on behind the scenes at Forfra at the time um, and it just never really worked out so yeah I left, I left in the January to go to Berwick Rangers. And they obviously re-signed for Edinburgh during the COVID season. Yeah. What was that like? Tell me a little bit about what were you know playing under those restrictions and empty stadiums and. Uh, well, firstly, I, I always wanted to come back to Edinburgh. Um, I loved it here the first time I was here. Um, I love everything about the club. Um, and then I, Jim, Jim, Jim Brown asked me to sign. Oh, Jim and James mm -hmm. both wanted me to sign. And um, there was no doubt in my mind this is where I wanted to be. So, yeah, I came back and I, I loved it. And you know, the, you have an association, dual nationality, with the Gambia and Scotland. So, yeah. tell us a little bit about that. A little bit about those origins and, and how that came about. What came about? What the, the origins with the obviously the Gambia is that through your parents? So. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry. So my dad's my dad's from Gambia. Yeah, my mum's from Scotland. So. Yeah, best was of both. Ever a chance of getting into that national team, or was there ever aspirations to maybe play for the Gambia? Well, there's no time, you never know. <laughs> so maybe you're, you're, you're a lot younger than I am, so there's definitely definitely loads of time for you to do that. Yeah, so maybe the next Afcon you might see me there. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. Um, the, you're quite a fan favourite at Edinburgh. There's no doubt about that. The young team love you. They've got the flag. Yeah. You know, they've got an Uzi flag. But how does that feel to know that you wanted to come back to the club, and immediately the fans have just taken to you? They've, you know. Soaked you up and said, Uzi, you know, big Uzi, that's our man. Yeah, um, obviously, it's, just, it's a good feeling knowing that the fans like you. Um, they've been great with me, even the first time I was here, and this time, um, I, I hear them singing all the songs and I, I love every bit of it, so yeah, it's a good feeling. And this season, it's been both good and bad, but we've, we've surpassed every expectation you could imagine. And, you know, you've netted a few, and how's it feel to know that you're coming to League One? And you've done the job. Um, well, the job's not done yet, um, but yeah, as a, all the boys have um, they've done really well. The recruitment was very good. I thought at the start of the season, um, it's made a massive difference. Um, obviously, we knew coming into League One, it was going to be a, a lot tougher. And yeah, after I, I thought um, the signings have been really good, and it's been a good se good season so far. And I've got one question that's coming from a player, I won't say his name. But um, if you remember the 3 3 between Edinburgh and Arbroath and the goalkeeper that you almost killed. <laughs> oh, Robbie Match, yeah. Uh, I, thought, I thought I killed him at the time. I thought that was, I thought that was him finished. 
Um, yeah, I caught, it was actually here, the old middle bank. Yeah. Um, I caught him with an elbow <laughs> and um, scored. I ran away celebrating and then turned back and I realised he's, he he, he's, uh, he's not moving. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I didn't even realise it was him until he came back and reminded me. Um, but I, I did send a few messages to our uh, both players at the time to make sure he was still alive. But uh, Uzi, you know, you've, you're the only player in the squad that's played the old Meadowbank, new Meadowbank. You're obviously a, a club legend, the fans love you. But thanks a million for being on board. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.